What up you beauties, back in the garage and today we're building this. What is it? Well it could hold a laptop, could hold a screen, and all it really is is the screen that the laptop goes on top, the keyboard and mouse if you're just running a laptop and you want to use a different keyboard and mouse, or the laptop can slide underneath with the screen on top if you're trying to shrink your desk space when not in use and opening it up for whatever you want to do. Let's get to it. Well for starters, let's measure out the tabletop itself. Well, not tabletop, but a little uh, additional height to the table. So what we're putting under here is a laptop and a mouse. Now really, for all we know, we want to put a basic notebook or something in there too. So we'll go for 16 inches. Okay, and that is right on the button. Because if I'm flush with that, I've got absolutely no room. So my bad. Now, don't get me wrong, the laptop I'm actually making this for is smaller than this one, but this is actually a better guideline because if they end up getting a bigger one, this isn't a huge one, it's only a 17. But either way, I think we're gonna go with probably 20 inches as opposed to 16, because the additional four give me lots and lots of clearance. Now that we've got it all measured up, let's cut it. So now all we need are legs that are a foot long, well, wide. Now I'll switch over to something a slight bit more manual. As I use the wrong side. We're just going to use this notch here, we're just cutting it 90 degrees, so it's all good. Line up the line that I made, twist these guys into place to hold the board in, and we slice away.
And that's all there is to it.